I'm about to show you some video right now. And I will plead with you to watch it at the end, including the analysis. Because we have continued to say this. But some of you think we are joking. We told you from the beginning that Tenibu has nothing to offer. He was only pushed into office job to help them create Ruga in a disguise bigger Ruga in a disguise take over Biafra land and Islamize it that is the agenda of Tinibu this was the agreement made between him Buhari and the British government and the Mietiala this was why they did everything possible to push him into office, even after losing the election. He did just to answer big name, just to answer big name that he was once a president, not because he has something to offer. You can see what is happening today in Nigeria. Even as these things are happening, he's busy building mansions for his deputy while the masses suffer. All he knows what to do is to create what he called Ministry of Livestock Development. That is another big name for Ruga. If you don't know, know it now. And this was created because of Biafra land. Let me allow you to watch the video. And do not forget to watch the analysis at the same time below. Today, 10 July 2024. I read a punch headline. Tinwu create Ministry of Livestock Development to stop farmers' headers clash. Can this be true? Nigerians, this is the same Ruga settlement which we fought against during Buhari. The same Ruga settlement being given legitimacy by Tinubu and his administration. Someone should quickly tell the president to cancel this ministry immediately. There were full and headers in this country in the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 90s, even early 2000s. There was never a farmer header fight between them. These lovely Fulanese did not destroy crops, they did not rape women, and they did not kill farmers who owns their land. I used to admire them as a kid in my own village at that time. Rather than create a bigger problem, the government should investigate what happened between 2013, 2014, 2015 till date. Creating Ministry of Livestock Development will not solve today's farmers' headers conflict. It will cause more problems. It will aggravate it. This Ministry of Livestock is the same dangerous land grabbing Ruga settlement that is being dressed in a very nice name. Why Ministry of Livestock? What is special about Fulani cattle? How much is Fulani cattle adding to the GDP of this country annually? Why is the president not creating Ministry of Cassava Development? Why not the Ministry of Palm Oil? Why did Mr. President not create Ministry of Cocoa and Granite? Why is President Tinubu not creating the Ministry of Corn, Ewa and Agbado, that he promised 50 million youth to eat this year? But he has deliberately decided to create a Ruga settlement throughout Nigeria for Fulani in the name of Livestock Ministry. Those who love peace in, this, in their communities should please, as a matter of urgency, 
call on President Tunubu to immediately cancel this Ministry of Livestock. Instead, create ranching department under Ministry of Agriculture. Let every state have their own ranches and manage it by themselves, not by Fulani. While the president has a right to create whatever places his agenda, the people have a duty to reject what will extinct their generations or render them slaves in their own land. Ruga settlement is not acceptable in whatever guise it may come. This ministry of cattle must be discontinued, diminished, and banished forever. If this does not concern you, read what happens to Sokoto and the Northern Empire between 1800 and 1804. This is a Fulani agenda to take over Nigeria. We must not allow this to happen in our time. Thank you so much for watching that video. Now you are beginning to understand what we have been seeing all these years. I told you several times that Tinubu had an agreement with British government in collaboration with Buhari. Mieti Allah just for him to push into office. And these things he's doing today is the promise he made them. The promise he made to them. That is just the truth. Some of you do not un don't understand I mean. When we tell you that this is what is happening, take it from us. When we tell you that Nigeria is finished, can never be redeemed, take it from us. Something that Buhari could not do, Tinibu is trying to do. But people should let him know that he's not in Biafra land. That we are ready to tackle anybody who they bring into our forest as far as our land is concerned. They can do that, their minister of livestock, whatever it is, or lifestyle, whatever it is, they want to do. Somewhere in Yoruba, after all, Yoruba land is now an Islamized state. They can do it there. But when it comes to Biafra land, anybody will know Tribu should tell him they stay clear from us. Because we are tired. We said in the time of Buhari, this will not happen. You are now bringing that same thing back again. In a trickish way of calling it sweet name. And you think we are stupid. Why does Tinibu as a Yoruba man think he can deceive an Igbo man? <laughs> What a funny joke. We have said it from the beginning. And uh, thank God that the people are beginning to speak up. That Tinibu had an agreement with Flani Caliphate to destabilize Igbo land. To enable him to bring in Ruga in Igbo land. And that is exactly what he has been doing since he became president. Apart from that, can you tell me something else he has done? He came in as a president. What he did first was buying a uh, jeep for his friends who brought him to office through Uru. I see that was not enough. He allocated billions and billions of Naira to her wife. He had done so many evil while the people continued to suffer. No food. People are dying of hunger. Including those who brought him to office. He was busy building mansions for his vice in another part of the country. Something that uh, Buhari did not do for Simbajo. A man who is being paid much as a vice. Instead of him to go and look for a house to stay, what they did was to use our hard earned money coming from resources from Biafra land. To build such artifacts for him. 
as what? As uh, who? A vice president who doesn't know his left or right. A vice president who is a terrorist. That country is finished. This is why people are cause. And I'll leave the mass the canon. Once Biafrans are from Nigeria, that country is a shithole. We are drug barons rule. Terrorists rule. Military will come out and tear the terrorists that if they repent today, they can be president of Nigeria tomorrow. Why should we live in such country? They don't want us to go. And they don't want to make the country a better place. And they don't want people who knows what to do to rule the country. Bring in restructure, they refuse. Because their plans is to flanize and Islamize Biafra land. But that they have fell on rival. Not why we are ready to tackle any criminal, any terrorist, any president, any governor who thinks he can give our land to Fulani for ranching or for Ruga. No matter what you call it, I call it sweet name. We don't care. We know what is happening. And we will not regret it. One of our American leaders has said it before. That Tiribu is doing everything possible to make sure he Islamize and flanize Biafra land. That he's doing everything possible to make sure that he bring Ruga to be a land. So many people did not believe him. But people like us believed him because we have been saying it from the beginning. Today another man has come to say it. Taking Ibu to go and put Ruga in Ruba land. Not in Biafra land. We know how many states that are Biafra land, Biafra land Nigeria is concerned. This is why we are asking for a referendum to determine our fate. Whoever says he doesn't want to be part of Biafra, he go with nigeria nobody's forcing anybody that is just the truth but we will not continue to live in a country where people are planning to take over the land grab our land kill us take over our land and multiply in our land that can never happen we know you're amazing and we have it i think i've come to the end of this news thank you so much for watching